Well, I'm over here at uh, my fair play bee yard. Took the morning off, I should say the afternoon, early afternoon. Gave away a bee, a tent frame, to uh, donated it to a, a new uh, Western Maryland Beekeepers Association so, uh, um, so they could uh, give it to a new beekeeper. And uh, I'm just over here peeking at them, seeing if uh, see which one, which ones we can look to send me to uh, to give her yellow jackets. Thinking about this one right here, I'm giving her a single with a bottom board and a lid. I'm thinking about doing that blue one, but I want to give her one that's got got honey on it. Good bit of honey on it to sit and make sure they make it. And I want to give her a split so we got a fresh queen. That that looks pretty promising there. You ask me. The reason I say that is they're everywhere in there. Got lots of propolis everywhere. Looks like a pretty healthy nuke there. I call it a nuke, it's a single, but the reason I call it a nuke is because that's what it was last August. I think it was August I made this thing. I just want to lift the whole hive. I should get my tripod out and set you guys down. Let me see if I can find it in there. I don't know if I put it in the van yet. I don't think I did. Nope, it's still in the shop. Dag nabbit rabbit. Prop you up here. You know, brick. There's bees everywhere today. Supposed to get 61 out today. Joy, joy. side here because there's a bee coming out of there. I don't know, they ain't, they ain't got much in there. I want to see if they're breeding up yet. Get away from that smoke. This frame is bone dry. We got them bone dry. I know girls ain't nothing out there to get either, is there? He said, We didn't miss that smoke, mister. I know you did. Beetle. And they're 
they're all over it, like there's brood in there, like there's eggs in there. I hope they ain't got that much eggs in there yet. Yep, there's eggs in there. Oh my. He still got another. Oh, I gotta get something from my nose. My nose has been running like a sugar tree for two days. Okay, so we got eggs there. Probably cat brood on these two. Excuse me, ma'am. Can I get in there? I got stung once. The back of the hand. Please go up my shirt. Yep. Get that. He's laying it. Ain't got much food. We better slow down. Still got another month to go. I'll be having to put the shims on here. See, that's what I'm thinking about. Thinking about having to put shims on here. I was thinking about going to make some shims. I ain't got any more. I ain't got brood in there. I ain't got no honey in there. This is a single. We got frame and a half there. This is probably loaded up here. Yeah, she needs to slow down. There she is. She needs to slow down. You need to slow down, girl. To run out of food. This wildy dower this time of the year, all brooded up. That thing's got cat brood on both sides. She needs to slow down. This has probably got honey on one side and eggs on another. I'm going to go according to that other frame there. Yeah, see how they're all patched in there and they're not moving? They're trying to keep brood warm, whether it's an egg, young larva. See, they're on the same spot, same side of the frame. So she's got eggs in both of these, both sides of this. She needs to slow down. Let's see what she got on this thing. Ouch, now don't be stinging me. I didn't do nothing to you. There's honey in there. Nectar. I don't know, they're out robbing. Ain't many dead outs in here. I don't have many dead outs. So are my dead mine already died in here. Get off me. <clears throat> so I should go ahead and uh now I'm just gonna put it back the way it was. I ain't making no changes. Too early in the season to be making too many changes. February. <clears throat> Alright girls. Yeah. I don't know. This girl, she's just getting a little bit too antsy. You need to slow down. Maybe she's uh, anticipating a bunch of dead ones. <laughs> She'll be able to get their honey out of there. Well, let me tell you, they ain't, the rest of them ain't much better, better shape than you are. So, you need to just slow down. At least that's my, that's my uh, opinion. 
Come on, girls, get off there. Get on there. Yeah, she had about two frames of honey in there, and that was it. The rest of them were empty. So, but that wouldn't be a other than the honey. That would be a good candidate, because I can just, for me, anyway, for the simple fact that the bottom board, that, that, that top, that uh, what you call main on there, didn't nailed on there. Don't have a bottom board nailed on it yet. It's got that. Uh, Double screen the bottom board on it, but I might give her that one. This one here is probably the same. Let's look through this blue one here. I'm more concerned of uh, making sure that it has enough honey. Not so much worried about the brood, but. Put you up against the same, uh, same rock here. damp on this side. There's a little honey. A little mold. Might be just storing condensation. Not that they ain't got enough of it. It's kind of damn. They're probably just eating the honey. Get away some brood. Got cat brood on it. There's some red pollen out there. There's some that bright red. Must be some dead nettle somewhere. There she is, right there. A little tiny, little tiny uh, little carnival and queen. A little tiny thing. Let's slow down. Don't get fancy like the other girl is. You don't look like you're doing too bad. You look like you're about where you're supposed to be. Got that big patch in there. You don't want to get too crazy, girl. Man, this is a small hive here. I want to give her this. I want to give her something got more in it than that. Plus, I have to take that plastic frame out of there. I'll probably give her the bottom out. The bottom looks like it got more bees in it. Okay. Now she's gauging herself a little better than this one over here. As far as how much honey she's got and wanting to raise brood already. 
Unless they know something I don't about the about spring. Maybe they knew the groundhog didn't see a shadow, so who knows? Um let's see we could check out this orange one here. Uh Got a tan one up here. Let's go check this tan one out up here. She wants to go eight frames, so I doubt she's going to use this box long. I don't have any eight frame boxes, and I don't think I'd, I wouldn't mind getting her one. And I don't got time to go get it painted and all, but now there's a good hive to give somebody. There are all MBs going in there. That thing's packed out. Only thing is, she better have a 10 frame super to go with that thing. Like I said, she ain't. She ain't uh, wanting to use a 10 frame, so she sure ain't gonna have a 10 frame super. But that'd be a good hive to get right there. Where this one? Man, it just sounds so good to be here. Hear the bees buzzing. Hear the bees buzzing. This pink one here. I had to feed it, so it ain't got a whole lot of honey in it. But I guess I could scarf some. I don't I think I have any extra. Well I got I got that one's a double deep. Take a frame or two of honey out of there and put it in there. That's all I need a frame or two. This thing here been eating sugar all winter long. Got sugar cakes on that thing. Just plain old water, sugar and water on them, put nothing special in it. Got the butterfly hive there I could give her. Put it on the bottom board. And it give me two mediums left uh, to put on stuff. That thing did pretty good this year. Anything it was, that thing was a little bit, it's a little bit overprotective. A little bit overprotective. But that don't mean they're gonna be this year. That don't mean they're gonna be this year. see but probably ain't any better than what I can see right now with this paper towel in my, in my veil honey master. If the queen hangs out long enough, this thing's going to be a monster. They got plenty of honey in here. I see honey right there. See cap honey there. This thing here is full of honey. This is going to be the first one to swarm right here. Yep. See if they're laying any brood here in the middle. I see she's up here. I doubt she is, but she might have she might decide to lay it up lay it up in here. Sometimes they do that. It's warmer up here. Cut that, cut that wax off the side of that frame so that it don't uh, tear the caps off the honey. Look at 
that. Could take this off and put it on that one that's got sugar on it. Full cream of honey. Yeah, she ain't laying up here. That whole thing's full of honey. See, I'll let it. I leave some of this on there. This is a good idea for new beekeepers. Have you got you know, a few hives? And leave a couple extra supers of honey. You never know who's going to need it. I could take this off and find one that, you know, like the one right beside of here. I got sugar on there. I can take that sugar over and put this super on there. Boo, they'd be good. They'd be happier than a pig in, in slop. Here's another thing that's about these. I thought about these lids I was telling y'all about. I didn't really like them. But you know what's good about these lids is? If these don't have honey going into the winter, you can scrape all that wax off and render the wax. And on top of that, you can take this thing and it's good for putting sugar bricks on there. It's already got a built-in shim. Supposed to bring the land down and here's some honey down, I mean some wax down here and I keep forgetting about it. I don't know what they're doing with that stuff in there. I guess they're working it. Doing their thing. But yeah, these are they're kind of messy it comes of pouring honey, but there's a whole super medium super poor honey. Well, Yeah, I think I'm going to give her that orange when I just put some uh, honey in it. Now I'll get some honey out of there right now and put it in there. Buy me a deep. Put some honey in there. Get me a, find me an orange bottom board. I don't know if I got any orange bottom boards. I think I do. I know I got orange lids. You know, I got some orange lids. 